welcome to my channel, Sandy Toe Tarot. My name is Laura. I have decided to do a weekly pick a card reading this week for the collective. This is going to be for everybody. I have not actually pulled the cards and I'm not going to. I, I do have like numbers down here, uh, card numbered cards down here with crystals on top of them so that you can choose the pile that's speaking to you. Um, and you will just have to choose, they haven't been chosen, so you'll just have to choose by number, timestamp, or crystal, or just, you know, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and see which one you're being drawn to. I will be uh, pulling the cards as I'm doing the reading this time. So the energies are shifting in November. I'm recording this on Halloween, but you know, waiting for my trick-or-treaters to show up. Um, but it is a full moon. This is a full moon, so it's a good time to do a reading. Uh, uh, tomorrow is November 1st, so I want to get this up tonight so you can know what's going to be, uh, what you can expect for the week of November 1st through the 7th. I will just read the cards, whatever comes through. Those, uh, my subscribers know that I like verbs, I like action cards, but uh, so I'll try to get action like what's happening, but sometimes it's just the energies, like what's the energy for the week gonna be about, or what's the week mostly gonna be about. If you like this channel, please do subscribe and send it on to anybody that you think might be interested in this video or any other videos that you find on my channel. Once you do subscribe, please hit that bell and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. If you do like this particular reading, I haven't done weeklies in a few weeks and if you guys miss them or you want to, to see some weeklies again, go ahead and hit that thumbs up uh, button so that I will know that you like this and you want me to continue to do these. I'm just... Um, just feeling my way around with this channel and just seeing what people like, what they don't like. I do know that you guys like yes or no pick a cards. People always have new questions. So I will be doing another one of those in the next, in the next couple of days. As always, I really appreciate you guys and your support on my channel. Uh, I like it when you comment and tell me you know, how the readings might resonate with you or uh, not, either way. Whatever you wanna comment, as long as it's not you know, derogatory or just hateful, I'm happy to hear it. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cameras uh, down so you can uh, choose your pile. And again, I don't have the piles chosen, but I do have numbers out here. So uh, you can choose the reading that you want to see, and then I'll put the timestamps in the description box below and you can go directly to that reading. Here we go and happy Halloween. So as promised, these are the piles that you can choose from. I have one through four here and I will be pulling the cards as I'm doing the reading. On pile one, I have a rose quartz. On pile two, I have an arrowhead uh, obsidian. On pile three, I have a sea opal or opalite. And on pile four, I have the amazonite. So uh, choose the number that you think is gonna be, gonna tell you what your energies are for this week or what's coming up for you this week of November 1st through 7th, 2020 in this new month. I'll put the timestamps in the description box below and then you can go directly to your reading. Okay, let's get started. Okay. Welcome back, y'all. So if you chose pile one for your weekly pick a card for November 1st through 7th, these are gonna be your messages. And I just wanted to tell you what the rose quartz is all about. It is known as the love stone, and that includes all types of love. Self-love, platonic love, but also romantic love. So this particular stone promotes love, happiness, warmth, and emotional health, in case you wanna pick one of those up. Okay, so I chose the Radiant uh, Rider weight tarot cards for your reading. I'm just gonna let these cards pop out here. 
so I'm going to read everything, whatever comes up, energies, action, whatever we see. We're going to talk about it for the week of November 1st through the 7th. So what's coming up for the pile ones, November 1st through 7th? That is not a card. That is <laughs> just uh, comes with the deck. Just a little advertisement. Thought I found that though. And let's just get one more for pile one to get us started on this reading here. What's coming up for my pile ones this week? What's coming up for the pile one? Okay, so what we have here is the Six of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. So I want to talk about this card real quick, that 1111, uh, uh, some people see an 1111 portal in the Four of Wands, and that just means a time when you're very connected to the divine. It's almost like whatever you want to manifest right now, it's a good time to do that. Uh, the connection is very clear, and it's very straightforward. Um, okay, so just starting from the left here we got the six of cups and the six of cups is a card of nostalgia it can also mean that someone is someone from the past is coming back to offer you something in a love relationship but mostly it just kind of indicates that you're looking at something from a nostalgic viewpoint and actually from the viewpoint of when you were a child it's almost like going back to a kind of uh, romanticizing things that happened in the past when you were a child and the way things what the way things were. But it can also just mean uh, dealing with people from your childhood. Like maybe they some people from your childhood are reaching out to you unexpectedly this week. The Four of Wands is a very happy celebration card. A lot of times this card comes up when there's a wedding, when there's gonna be a wedding. Uh, it's a celebration of all kinds. In particularly, it does mean happy home. So there's uh, some celebration of a wedding. There's some, some celebration of a harvest. There's some celebration of an accomplishment. There's some celebration of somebody's uh, pregnant, uh, all, all kinds of things can be celebrated, but it is just a card of celebrating. And the Seven of Pentacles is a card, Pentacles are our money, they're our material things, right? But you get this Seven of Pentacles when you have been working on something really hard and you kind of reach a place where it's a, just a natural place to stop take stock in what you have done so far and a little bit of a break from it and it's kind of like a time to decide if you want to continue it or if you uh it's not going to work kind of thing but the message of the card is generally that you will continue you, ju you just need to take a break you have put so much effort into it you will continue and uh complete whatever it is, whatever kind of project it is that you're working on. Now, here's what I will say about this week for you guys. These are minor arcana cards, which means there is nothing major happening for you guys this week. Mercury does turn red or turn direct on November 3rd, and that makes things like travel easier. It makes things things like communication with other people easier. So it looks kind of like to me this is a bit of an easy breezy kind of week. You, uh, you might be having some contact with people from your past. Someone might be coming in from your past to offer something in the way of relationship for some of you. Uh, if there is some kind of a wedding or a celebration, Maybe it's in your hometown, and that's why you're connecting with people from your childhood. 
but this is some kind of celebration that you guys are going to have this week. And then for some of you, uh, it's kind of a break for, for, for y'all for something that you've been working really hard on. So that's kind of actually what's happening for y'all this week. You're taking a break from the hard work. You're having some kind of celebration. It might hook you up with people from your past, um, particularly in childhood, people in your childhood. But to me, this is the important card this week. It is a week of celebration. It is a week of a party. It is a week of a, a wedding. It is a week of something something major to celebrate, and that is exactly what you guys are going to do. And I think that's wonderful. It's a great week to celebrate. So let's look at something fun. Um, the energies are really, really lightening up for the month of November. We start, Mercury goes direct. Mars goes direct on the 12th. So things should still should start to lighten up and you'll see more of this. You'll see more of, uh, you know, happy times, taking breaks, going to a party, that kind of thing. So I, since this is kind of a fun reading for you guys, I want to get a Sedona uh, Oracle to finish off this reading because I think this deck is really pretty fun. So, you got the lizard, the unexpected. So, that's kind of exciting for some of you. Okay, so this says, from tiny on up, lizards can be too fast for the eye to catch more than a quick blur, or they can be so still they are invisible. So, watch your step and look closely. Now you see me, now you don't. Things may happen quickly and unexpectedly, they may be there all along, unnoticed until they move quickly into your line of vision. Okay, so something unexpected is happening this week, maybe as a, as a result of this celebration, and maybe the unexpected is someone in your past is coming back. But in any case, uh, it's just very exciting that unexpected things are starting to happen and things are starting to move forward, and um, we're starting to get into a lot lighter kind of energy. So that's all I have for my pile ones. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. Okay, if you chose pile two for your uh, weekly reading for November 1st through the 7th, these are gonna be your messages. And on pile two, I have the Obsidian Arrowhead, which I got out west on my trip this summer. Um, so this Obsidian helps you confront your shadow self it shines a light on negativity and clears it away. So that's cool. Um, and I have not used these cards in a long time. Queen of Swords. But I'm going to today. I'm using these uh, Secrets of Tarot by Amanda Hall for your uh, basic tarot cards. And then I'll get clarifiers as I need to. And at the end, I'll probably pull a Oracle card just to finish everything up. So let's see what we have for our pile twos. What's coming up for our pile twos? We got the Nine of Pentacles. Pile twos, what's going on for the pile twos this week? November 1st through 7th. We got the Ace of Wands. This is looking good, y'all. And one more for the pile uh, twos. What's coming up for the pile twos? There we go. The world. That's pretty amazing. This is an amazing reading, you guys. You've got a new beginning coming up this week. So the Ace of Wands is, the literal meaning for it is um, a new life. It is, the, it is a car, uh, fall card as far as timing is concerned. We are in the fall. So this is telling me that this week starts a new, brand new beginning for you guys. It's a beginning of creative ideas. Something huge is happening for y'all. Um, 
You've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is a great, great card for finances. It's a, an abundant card. This woman is very abundant. She has, um, she's very contented. She has everything materially that she could possibly, she has her, like, a, a, her own kingdom uh, with a, maybe a, a Let's call it a via. She's got a via in Tuscany, and she has plants all around her. She has her home. She has probably some family and friends, and um, she has money to spare. This is more than enough, way more than enough. Um, it's having extra to do cool things with. Luxuries, little luxuries. Um, now it is, uh, this is the woman for, uh, this is the card for self-sufficiency. It is a woman who is on her own. And if there's one thing that she kind of lacks a little bit, you know, she's looking a little wistfully at this little bird. She seems a little bit alone. She might want to have a mate in her life, but she just doesn't at this time for whatever reason. Uh, and then the next card we had is, have is the world which re represents one cycle ending and another beginning. The world is the last card in the major arcana card, in the major arcana of the tarot deck, which are like the major milestones in your life or the major things that are happening. The world is a completion and it just starts another cycle. It is a new beginning. And I think so many of us are experiencing that right now. Um, New, definitely a new beginning starting this week. Things are starting to shift forward. Mercury turns direct this week on the 3rd. Next week, Mars turns direct on the 12th or the 13th. Don't, you know, don't quote me on that. But uh, I do know that Mars is turning direct soon. Uh, Mars is the card of ambition, of drive, of moving forward, of forward movement. So when it's retrograde, you kind of feel like there's just a chain wrapped around your ankle. You're not moving forward. Nobody's moving forward. Well, guess what? This week, things are opening up. Things are starting to move forward. This is a, for you guys, for pile two, you guys are moving forward in a big way. Uh, you're you're, uh, you have a brand new life that starts this week. Something happens to, um, to move your dreams and your ambitions forward. So that is very clear and it's very cool. I'm going to get you, since y'all are moving, since y'all are on the move, let's get you a Sacred Traveler Oracle to finalize this reading for you. I wish I would have chosen pile two. This looks really good. All right, what words of wisdom can you give our pile twos who are entering a new phase in their life? A very, um, looks like a very happy phase and almost like a wish fulfillment phase. You're, you're starting your dream life here. What advice do you have for pile twos? Passion and pleasure. Savor your life. Luxuries, right? Savor, savor your life. What a great card. So the sacred traveler wants you to know when the traveler meets a band of gypsies, the traveler stops to dance into the early morning hours. Sometimes we get so caught up with wondering what's around the next bend and worrying about our current challenges that we forget to focus on what's great in the moment. You're not meant to simply work hard and be diligent and practical. Embrace pleasure wherever you can. Allow your senses to be satiated. Find and explore the beauty around you. You don't need to suffer to grow. You can grow spiritually by leaps and bounds through joy. 
dance, eat well, and drink well. Share joy wherever you can. This is a great card. I love it. It is a great ending to a wonderful weekend, a wonderful reading. Uh, I think you guys are just going to have the best week, November 1st through 7th, and I'm very happy for you. I'm sending you lots of light and love. Until next time, namaste. Welcome back, y'all. If you chose uh, Pile 3 for your weekly reading for November 1st through 7th, these are going to be your messages. And Pile 3 had the sea opal or opalite on it. So this is a man-made stone, but I still love it. It enhances psychic abilities. It encourages spirituality and helps with transitions and meditation. So that's a really cool stone. All right, so let's see. I chose the Radiant uh, Rider White cards for your general, just your general messages here. Let's see what's coming up for Pile Threes for this week. What's coming up? November 1st through 7th. All right, so what's coming up for Pile 3 for November 1st through 7th? What's coming up for my Pile 3s? Got one card that popped out here, a five of wands. What's coming up for Pile 3s? Well, we got four. We're going to go with them. Oh, these are, these are kind of the same anyway. All right. <coughs> we got the five of wands here. We have the Three of Cups, we have the Queen of Wands, and we have the Strength card. So incidentally, the Queen of Wands is my card for Leo. The Strength card is the Major Arcana for Leo, Minor Arcana for Leo, Major Arcana for Leo. So maybe a Leo has something to do with your reading. Maybe you are a Leo yourself. Maybe we're just talking about Leo energy and we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so the Five of Wands is kind of a, an exciting challenge that is coming into your life. It can also, and, I, and I'm saying this is an exciting challenge because it has several meanings. It can mean like conflict, uh, but it's not like Five of Swords conflict. To me, it's like a, a little bit of petty conflict, sibling rivalry, that kind of thing. It can also be a card of competition. So I do think there might be some competition going on here. Uh, like maybe you uh, are in line for a job or you've applied for a job. There are several people who are applying for that job. So there's a little bit of competition for the job. Um, but I think a lot of you are getting that job because uh, I'm reading this as an exciting challenge and because you get the Three of Cups here, which is a card of celebration. So I do feel like though you might be, have applied for a job, which there is a lot of competition for, this card tells me that you are going to be getting this job. You, you definitely have something to celebrate. This is my card for grabbing your girlfriends and going out for cocktails. But there can be so many, this is, if you notice the harvest stuff down here. So we're, we are, you know, today's Halloween and what you might be carrying your fall festivities into the week of November 1st through the 7th. There might be other parties that you're going to, fall happenings, festivals, those kind of things for some of you. But uh, to me, it's a card of getting together with your friends, your buddies, taking your buddies out to the bar, getting together with your girlfriends and celebrating not only the big things, but also the small things in life. Um, life should be celebrated, even if it's just the fact that, uh, I don't know, you got a new haircut. Something It can be something as simple as that. Little things should be celebrated just as much as the big ones. I do think you're winning some kind of competition, so this is maybe more of a big celebration than usual, but, uh, any reason to celebrate is good, in my opinion. Okay, so the Queen of Wands is the card of, for Leo. If it's not a Leo, it's an older woman who is, uh, she's very much a business owner type, an entrepreneurial kind of woman. She kind of is that really well put together queen. She kind of has it all. She has a wonderful family life, home life. 
She also has a wonderful business life, work life. Uh, if she doesn't own her own business, she is probably pretty high up in the um, on on the ladder, on the corporate ladder. But she's very efficient, really, in her business. Now, wands are associated with fire signs, so it could also be another fire sign, Aries or Leo. Aries or um, Sagittarius are an older, just an older woman that embodies the uh, spirit of the fire signs, which are very energetic. They're very passionate. Um, they're very adventurous. So, Uh, I, did, I think I did mention that this is a very strong queen and the strength card is coming up here too. And it's just reminding us, if it's not a Leo, it's reminding us that you will, as you um, go through this new, if you take up this new job, it will require some strength to, it always does, to start something new even though it's an exciting challenge, it's still gonna require your strength. And this is card is saying you have that in reserve. You have all the strength that you need. You have the willpower that you need. You have the will and the determination that you need um, to, uh, to be successful with this new exciting challenge. But this is also reminding us that strength is not always brute force. In this case, it's, ta it's tact and it's diplomacy, it's that feminine strength um, to know when to speak, know when not to speak, know when to let others speak. It's, um, just being tactful and diplomatic to work, it's like work in the room, right, is what I call it, you're working the room. You have everything that you can possibly need to be successful in this new exciting venture that's coming up for you guys. And it's starting, it starts this week. Actually, I think you're getting, whatever it is, you, you win it. Whatever the competition is, you win it this week because you're celebrating it this week. And also you're moving forward with it because you're gonna need this strength to, um, to uh, take up this exciting challenge that's coming to you. Let's see what the angels and ancestors have to say. About this week for pile threes, what words of wisdom do you have for pile threes as they go through November 1st through the 7th, which looks like a really good week. Pretty exciting. Something new, something to celebrate. Let go of the need to be right. I think that goes right along with this strength card being a feminine strength of using tact and diplomacy to uh, get get done what you need to get done. Let's see what this peacekeeper says. Okay, the message is choose peace and happiness over the need to be right. Rather than trying to prove a point, save your energy for what's important. You may be feeling on edge due to a stressful situation. There's a warrior within you that wants to rise up, prove your point, and get the truth across, but you're being reminded by ancestor wisdom that truth will always be revealed in the end. It's more important at this time to avoid arguments or heated discussions where you know you'll be fighting a losing battle. There is much more power in choosing to move forward from a higher perspective. This will allow you to connect deeply to the guidance within and the intuition that will lead you toward the healing of the whole situation along with any wounds it may have inflicted on you. Choose peace, you know it's calling you. Um, okay, yeah, I do. I think that goes right along with this card of using tact and diplom diplomacy as you move through this situation, this exciting challenge. 
Uh, it's, tensions might be high, as usual, whenever you're starting something new. It's very can be very nerve-wracking. But just remember to uh, pick your battles. You don't, you don't need to, being right is what's not important here. The truth will always come out. Okay, that's all I have for my pile threes. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. Welcome back, y'all. If you chose pile four for your weekly messages for November 1st through 7th, these are going to be your messages. And uh, pile four had the Amazonite on there on it. So I do uh, like to tell people what the meaning of the stone is in case you want to get it. But the Amazonite enhances desire to attain spirituality, to bring success, and to attract luck and money. It soothes emotional trauma and it dispels negative energy and aggravation. It assists in manifesting your desires and it represents universal love. That's a powerful little stone, isn't it? All right, my pile fours, let's see what we got going on for the week. Um, mostly what's been coming out is everyday cards, so I think it's kind of a calm week, but it's, it seems like a real fun week, actually, so far. Like, people are getting more social and that kind of stuff and having parties and celebrations, so that sounds really good to me. We've been isolated for too long, in my opinion. Okay, so tell me what is coming up for our pile fours for the week of November 1st through 7th. I didn't like the, that didn't feel right to me, so I'm just gonna do it again. Okay, so November 1st through 7th, what's coming up for pile fours? Oh, that's three. I didn't see that third one in there. Okay. I'm going to get one more for this King of Pentacles. Tell me what this King of Pentacles was. Uh, my subscribers know that when I get three, when I'm doing three card spreads, I don't like people cards. I mean, I'll read them. I like people cards, but for three card spread, there's just, I just need more action. I like the verbs. I want to know what's going on. So can I get one card for the Queen of Pentacles, please? What is this here for? Why, 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 why? All right, four cups is clarifying that King of Pentacles. Again, another card of Oh, this is not a celebration. Sorry. <laughs> I spoke too soon on that one. That's not a celebration. But things are looking good here for pile fours. Okay. So the two of wands is a card of decision. It's a card of looking out on the whole world to see what it is you want to do next, where you want to go ne uh, next. It can be the beginning um the early stages of an enterprise, a creative in enterprise, and it looks like it's going to be successful. But mostly to me, this guy is just standing out on the edge of, of his life with the world in his hand. So he's looking at the whole world to see what adventure he wants next. I love this card. So there is a decision about that. However, I think maybe it may be one that's been in the past like in the past you've uh, been doing this you've been looking out on the whole world to see where it is you want to go next because this ace of swords indicates a new beginning and well um it could be because the ace of swords is my card for winter time so it could be that maybe this week you're looking out on the whole world and then in the inner in the winter time you get, which is December, January, February, the new beginning starts. Um, 
So the Ace of Swords is a victory card. It is a card of a new beginning. Aces are always new beginnings. And if you notice, it has the hand of God in it. It's from the divine. It's from the universe. The universe is offering a new beginning for you. And sometimes the, it, with the Ace of Swords, the new beginning comes out of adversity. Again, you got the crown up here. It is a victory. You are winning, and what you are winning is a new beginning from the universe. Um, so we got this King of Pentacles card at the end, which to me is the card for Gemini. And if it's not a Gemini, it's an older gentleman who is really good with money. He's really very practical. Um, like if you need advice, if you need real down-to-earth practical advice from someone, you would go to this guy because uh, he's just he's just salt of the earth. But it is also, again, as I said, my card for Gemini. So sometimes this says that you're embodying this, this, this very successful, financially successful king. Um, now, this Four of Cups is interesting because the Four of Cups is, is saying that something is being offered to you, but it is a little bit of the card of dissatisfaction. Well, actually, it is the card for dissatisfaction. You've got th three cups that are completely full down here that are just fine. You have three good cups. Uh, and then, again, from the hand of God, you are being offered a fourth cup, and uh, you're looking at it like, I don't, I don't want it. I just don't want it at all. So... Um, I think, <laughs> okay, this, just reading these cards here, you have been in a place of looking out on the world and trying to make a decision about what you want to do next, what your next adventure is um, going to be and what you want it to be. You're being offered a new beginning and maybe a new beginning out of adversity um, with, I think, a Gemini or with an older gentleman who's, who's very practical. And I think you don't want it. I think this card is saying, I'm just not, I'm just, I, I, I know that this new beginning is on offer for me. It's got the hand of God in it in both places. Um, but I'm just, I just don't know if I want it. It seems blah. It seems boring to me. Um, and okay, so I can't, you know, this is going to be different for all of you guys. So I can't advise you on what you should do. Nobody should advise you what you should do anyway, by the way. But I will it say at least look at it because and give it a real serious consideration because the hand of God is in it. So it may be it may be a new beginning with this person and like maybe he hurt you or she hurt you. Uh, women can read as kings too by the way if they're like um, at the top of that, that suit, like they've mastered that suit. Like if you're dealing with a woman who is um, financially really good with the finances, she's very stable, she's very practical, that can be a, uh, that can be a woman too. So it may be that you have been in a relationship with this person that it's, you've kind of been through it with them and that's why you were looking out on the world to see what you wanted to do next and um, this new beginning with this person is on offer and maybe that's why you're not that interested in it because you've been through it with them in the past and I'm gonna get one more clarifier on that king of Pentacles just to make sure we're talking about a person and a relationship here. can I get one more 
card for this King of Pentacles, please. One more card for the King of Pentacles. Why is this here? So that's clarified by the Six of Pentacles, which is a card of reciprocity, give and take. thickens okay so for some of you this is a person this is uh, a relationship that you have been in in the past there was like uh, you kind of got over it and you were looking out on the world to see what else you wanted to do what direction you wanted to go in next because this was not necessarily working out um, and then, so this week you're being offered a new beginning out of adversity with this person, um, a Gemini or, uh, an older person who's very practical, could be male or female. So you're being offered a new beginning with this person and you're, cause the, the cups are love, right? So this love is being offered to you. And you're kind of dis, you're, you, you're, it's blah, you don't think you want it, or you're not sure that you want it. Um, you're very dissatisfied with this situation. And so, some of you are probably gonna say yes, and some of you are probably gonna say no. Okay, so then I pulled another card and I got this Six of Pentacles to clarify that King of Wands. So, I do think for or the King of Pentacles. So I do think for some of you guys, at least, it's a business enterprise. And you're, you're being offered a new beginning in, in your business. You're being offered some help in your new business or in your business enterprise after a time of adversity, maybe because of COVID-19. There's, there's, I mean, there's no way to know. But um, it comes from, because this is the card of if I need, I take. If I have, I give. Reciprocity. This guy it, with, the, uh, with the cash is trying to help you. He's, he's going to give you the money to help your business um, to, to start fresh after a period of adversity and you're kind of like, I don't know if I want that money from that, from that person. Maybe the price is too, too high. Maybe there's some um, baggage that comes with it. If you accept that, we all know those kind of people, if they give you money, they think they own you. Um, you're just not, you're just not really sure that you want it from this person. That you, you, you want to move forward. You uh, like the idea of a new beginning and, and seeing a way out. Uh, but if it comes through this person, you're just not sure. And I cannot, I have nothing to offer you on that. So I'm going to get some words of wisdom. It's gonna, just going to be different for each one of you. Whether you choose it or not. You're not very happy about it. You'll, it'll take some deliberation. And maybe the reason there's no definitive answer here is because it doesn't happen this week. You don't, you, you're, the decision will not be made by the end of the week. You'll still be dealing with this into next week too. All right. So what words of wisdom can we get from our angels and ancestors oracle here? What words of wisdom do you have for my pile fours? Druid, hold the space. Hold things together. Don't make any sudden moves or changes. Stand strong, knowing you are where you are supposed to be. When the Druid card appears in a reading, you're being guided to dig deep within and hold your station. 
If you're wondering what to do next or have a sense of anxiety about what is unfolding in your life, it's time to shift your perceptions and move back to a state of trust. Don't change your plans or do anything drastic. Just trust in the process and let everything happen as it needs to before taking any more steps. Think of a tree. It has strong roots yet continues to grow and bear fruit. Your life will be a reflection of this. This is really good advice here. Doubt means don't. Like if you're doubting this situation at all, just don't, don't, just hold your station, just hold your space. Don't make any decisions right now. That's what I'm saying. I think it's, uh, you're not gonna make a decision on this week, it's moving in. It's made, maybe this situation presents itself to you this week, but you will not make a decision this week. Um, it's something you need to sit on. You really need to think about it. Okay, so that's all I have for pile fours. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste.